Hello, everyone. Welcome to the snobbiest city in America, Naples, Naples Florida. Florida. Yeah, this is definitely it right here, guys. Now, there's other places that are said to be snobbier. Um, so I would, this video is going to take the participation of the audience in naming places that are snobby because in the future, I want to make a top 10 list of the snobbiest places in America. And we will eventually go to the mall. Yes, we want to see the mall. I want to see these snobs. I, I, I definitely have to see this. And in order to see it, I got to know where it's at. So if you know any city that belongs on my top 10 list of the snobbiest places in America, let me know. But for now, from my understanding, Naples, Florida, my hometown, is definitely the snobbiest place that I've been to so far. Beyond any reasonable doubt. I can't even think of a place snobber than Naples. Katie, what is the actual dic dictionary definition of the word snob? Which I'm pretty sure will pretty much exactly define Naples. So what does... When you write the word snob in a dictionary, what comes up? A person with an exaggerated respect for high social position or wealth who seeks to associate with social superiors oh, wow. and dislikes people or activities regarded as lower class. If that doesn't describe Naples to a dot. I don't know what. So if you don't know Naples, Florida, it's at the bottom of the map. The map. I almost said nap. That's hilarious. Bottom of the nap. We're at the bottom, Miami's on one side of Florida and Naples is on the other. Miami is a diverse international city. Naples is a reclusive place. Elitist, you could say, we're only the finest individuals. In fact, the Naples Port Royal community, which is in front of us up ahead, had a saying back in the day that it takes more than just money. It takes more than just money to be a resident of their community. Wow. So it's just, you can have money, but that still doesn't make you better. They don't care just about the money. It's their social class. Now, interesting detail that I mentioned, a hate or disregard for things that are considered lower. Like, for example, like this yeah. jacked up truck would fall right into that category of things that these people would just, like, be appalled by, right? Yeah. Um, Kenny, what's a property around here worth? Let's start by that. Get this going here. Say I wanted to buy a home here. Well, how much we're we talking about? When you clear the oh, no, data. No, even an empty lot, yeah. It's just you can do near me and it'll show you everything. Yeah, I know. No, yeah. but you put it into settings and now I have to get rid of that setting. So we are kind of bypassing downtown Naples for this section of the drive. Royal Coven. Coven. <laughs> Has nothing to do with Royal Colin. <laughs> I'm gonna face the sun here for a brief moment, guys, but it won't be forever. I'll try not to have the sun in our face too much, so we don't have to look at this horrendous glare. It's, oh, it's a coof. We're talking in the millions. All right, so let's say which one? What, what do they got? Oh, by the way, one of the best pizza places in Naples is right here. So near me. All right, there's a. Uh, there's a home for seven million, another one for six point five. Oh, here's a home for five million. How's that? And there's Napoleon the Bay Pizzeria, the best pizza in Naples. It really is one of the best pizza places in Naples. Mm -hmm. I think now since we've been gone, there might be a few better places. Naples wasn't known for good pizza. It really wasn't. It was one of the things that when people mention Naples, oh Naples, their pizza absolutely yeah. sucks. But I think recently there might have been some uh, new new blood in the, in the pizza yeah. world down here making it better we'll find out i miss the pizza i had when i was a kid yeah. in michigan ohio had great pizza ohio michigan has some great ohio pizza. is really the place to be michigan ohio michigan let me get a o h i c h that didn't sound right look how smooth this sounds oh so this is a naples city dock it's the other pier of naples a little bit less known a little bit more offensive smells Beautiful place to come look at. Uh, you, you'll see snow, you'll see tarpon, you'll see... And there's the Dock Restaurant. We ate there for our anniversary before we left Naples. Oh, our last anniversary in Naples was yeah. there. I remember that. It was like $120. It wasn't all I that great. So. A, it's a nice setting, but it's not like, oh my gosh. I think this year we're going to the Crab Shack. <laughs> Since old trash. Like, we're going to go to... Forget about these rich, snobby people. We're going to go to the Crab Shack. So what type of things happen here in Naples? Since it's, a, you know, what what justification do I have to label Naples as the snobbiest city in America? 
Well, if you are gonna disagree with me, you better have a list of 10 places that are snobbier because, and, and please, somebody, what's the snobbiest place in California? So I was gonna say Beverly Hills. Not exactly, just because the place is rich doesn't mean they're snobby. I don't know if you knew that. Let me get up out of the glare real quick, start driving north. So what is the snobbiest place in California? That is one that I would love to see, the snobbiest place in California. Beautiful day to record. We have beautiful blue skies. Grass is beautiful and green. It was just a beautiful city. And properties around here in this little neighborhood are between six to seven million, five to seven million dollars. We'll, we'll get you a home around here. But like their saying goes, money alone will not buy you a property in Port Royal. You have got to be an elite member of their society. Sorry about the glare, guys. We do have to face the sun. Are we going soon. into the real expensive part of Naples? Uh, Port Royal is to the left of us. That's more expensive. Anything in Naples. No, the, the real expensive strip in Naples. Oh, where all the big mansions are? Yeah, but you, know, you can't no, even no, see No, 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 no. The shops, the more expensive. Not the ones on yeah, Fifth Avenue. Right. These so, ones over here. Yeah, these shops here are a little bit more um, affluent. affluent of shopping destinations. This is actually 3rd Street North, right? Yeah. South? 3rd South. Yeah, yeah, this is actually the real, like, like the the 5th Avenue, it's, exp it's, it's nice and all that. Like, how much was our, our lunch today? $60. So we paid $60 for lunch. And, and we had four coffee drinks. Right. So 60 Two each. Mm -hmm. And a, I had a cumin sandwich. So lunch was sixty dollars, and actually we've we've spent a hundred dollars on lunch here, so that's really nothing. Yeah, but we were at that. Right. And so by sixty dollars yeah. for a Cuban sandwich and some coffee, mm -hmm. or you know whatever. Um, whereas when you talk about, yeah, that's pretty expensive either way. Yeah, it's an expensive city. And there's homes here in Naples that are probably into the $20, $30 million price range. Oh, oh, lady, get off your phone. Come on, The girl literally stumbled into the road on her phone. I don't know if the video got that. Did, did it get it? I don't know if it did. Bless mm. come Literally stumbled into the road with her phone in her hand. I can't afford to pay for a broken white woman. I can barely afford to keep you running. So, yeah, Naples has its, it's a claim. Yeah, he got me Starbucks today. Let's be clear. You can have money and be a very approachable, fun person. Like Hank Williams, for example. Hank Williams would definitely not be a snob. I guarantee yes. he would do that. He took care of me today. He took me to Fifth Avenue, Naples. And he got me uh, like breakfast and stuff. Okay, let's be clear. We've had, and he took me to Starbucks today. We've had a lot of complaints. Got a drink, so he took care of me really well today. And the day is not over, he will take care of me well again. Aquiline Shores, this is one of the most prestigious neighborhoods in the city. Now, we've had a lot of complaints on the channel that people think that I don't treat my woman up to par because I'm a little bit rude to her. Let me tell you something. Most women who are making those comments... Is your, do you have to go work every day, Katie? No. Do you eat wherever you want? Yeah. Would I put my hands on you in Never. a way that's not romantic? Never. A lot of women are just jealous that you have this chunk of meat right here. I treat my white woman the way it is appropriate to treat a white woman. The only time he touches me is when he's hugging. Right. So, for all the people that have been saying, oh, you don't treat your white woman properly, excuse you. So, here's what you don't understand about this situation. First of all, if I don't do that, she'll get mean comments. But if I make those mean comments already, we'll stop getting those comments. That's not really the excuse. I'll tell you why we really do this. The reason we really just kind of don't seem to have respect for each other on video is because I'm trying to trigger comments from people like you. But if you watch our channel, you know that Kate lives a very comfortable lifestyle. A lifestyle that most uh, women would probably wish they had. As 
be clear about that, you know? And what divorce are you on? We've been happily married for what, 13 years? 13 years, years next month. Exactly. Happily married for 13 years. So if you're on your third divorce, don't complain about how I treat my white woman. My white woman lives a very comfortable life, man. And he'll be taking me to Walmart soon so I can get a red dress. But, you know, you, having a white woman isn't just about the like, water. Well, it's beautiful. That's the most beautiful. We're definitely going over here. Why not? So, when you have a good white woman, you take care of her, you clothe her, you love her, you protect her, and she doesn't have to work at Walmart. So, if you're a white woman and your husband's got you working at Walmart, you need to shut up. My white woman. Is blogging across America. What else could a white woman want to do with her life? If I wanted my toenails painted, he would paint them. Yeah. Not sure what's going on here. They're probably going to paint them white. Yeah. They look beautiful. No, they do that before that they would. put on nice stuff. Yeah, I bet you. No, I'm pretty sure they're just going to paint them. That's probably like some $7,000 plank wood or something. That's the most beautiful I've ever seen in the water here in Naples. So anyways, yeah, I treat my white woman properly. How could I not? You know? He loves me. I'm gonna find a gas station or something to get some water. I'm like thirsty. You have water right in front of you. Oh, yeah. My white woman is in top condition. Yeah. How dare you? No, Katie has it pretty good. She can't complain. For I'm one, she happy. was supposed to get her real estate license like a year ago, and she still hasn't done it. Mm -hmm. I don't rush her. I just let her do whatever crap she wants to with her life. I'm trying to make sure I pass it. There's still parking spots here. We're going to the pier. There's like restrooms right there at the pier, too. Can we go to the pier? It's hot. It's hot. I don't care. This is what I came to do. I told her when I left the house that I was going to the pier. So if you got a problem with me, Sasha or something where you can walk, walk in your hands. There are parking spots on the other side. I like these because my truck is so big it just sticks the crap out. Let me see if I can get one of these parking spots here. So you can stay in the car. For I want to see in the car because it's shady and I get burnt. Like Yeah, you you have to protect a white woman's skin. Yeah. That is one thing. If you've never owned a white woman, their, their exposure level to sunlight is going to be a problem for you. Exposure to sunlight can definitely harm a white woman. He likes me like... Well, let's be clear, when we talk about the word snob, it's not just having money. There's a squatted, like, really from Florida. We definitely have this part of Florida. So, having a white woman... Oh, I mean, being a snob, it's not just having money. Nothing wrong with having money. Having, being a snob means you think your money makes you better than other people. Okay? So understand the definition of being a snob. Nothing wrong with having money. It's thinking that that money makes you better than other people. It don't. It really don't. So just because you have money, that doesn't exactly make you a snob. What makes you a snob is assuming that that money makes you better than others, which is definitely not the case. We're all human at the end of the day. And I do think that Naples, it's not that they have money, but it's that they think the money makes them better. And that's where the problem lies. All right, guys, checking out. Let me hear your thoughts and opinions.